Here we are at Genesee County Park and we're beginning herping right now. Yes. I was warned that it was going to get wet. It was dirty. Oh. <laughs> My shoes don't even feel like shoes anymore. <laughs> we got something. Here we have an American toad. Bufo Americanus. Now they, they do not give you warts. <laughs> but even though they are a bit warty and uh, these these little bumps back here right behind the eyes those are called the parotoid glands which secrete a little bit of poison maybe I could squeeze a little bit out there see poison the little white that's bufotoxin oh that do well, it's very bitter, and I mean, a lot of a lot of animals once once they eat a toad, if they aren't immune to the toxin, then they'll they'll uh, learn not to eat toads anymore. <laughs> Good selective advantage. But um, some snakes, like garter snakes, are they have uh, developed immunity to bufo toxin, so uh, toads are a good source of prey for snakes. Took a little bit, put it on my lip once. Uh -huh. My lip was numb for most of the day after that. Wow. Goodbye. Jump. There you go. Yay. That one. Eganoderma equinata. Oh. He got him. <laughs> we caught our first frog. Okay. Now this is another green frog. It's a female. You can tell the difference, male and female, by the size of their ear, or official term, tympanum. On the male, the tympanum is uh, significantly larger than the eye is, and on the female, it's about the same size as the eye. Yep. And uh, scientists think that that also helps in the, the croaking, and also um, it's the breeding season. So a, ma a male's breeding colors has a bright yellow right underneath the throat there. And this does not, so more proof it's a female. And it's feet. Feet. Some seaweed. <laughs> Jamie and me are walking in the middle of a stream. And have been for quite some time now, actually. Oh, wow. A little nymph. A nymph? Yeah, damselfly nymph. Damselflies are like uh, dragonflies. Mm -hmm. Only they're generally smaller and their wings fold over the back. Look at all of them. So they just live on the bottom of rocks? Yep, pretty much. Until they become adults and they leave the water and fly around looking for a mate. Huge crayfish right here. Taking the bag off. Got work to do. Yeah, you got it. That's a big one. Get over. Okay, little crayfish. Not pinching you? No. Mm -hmm. Good crayfish. Oh, he's soft. Soft? You can see uh, he molted a little while ago. Almost, almost, oh, got him. Nice. And he looks ready to pinch. Oh, yeah. yeah ow! It's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready for something to happen. It's okay, crayfish.
<laughs> you got Jamie. You got Jamie. <laughs> Let go of my hangnail, please. Yeah, <laughs> like go. He's he's a fighter. He needs got back well. to freedom. Huh. It's fine. That was a gray tree frog. That? Yeah. That's a gray tree frog somewhere. They sound too, their voice is too deep to be a crow, it sounds like. They feel those ravens. Ah, that's a crow. Yep. Yeah, that's how the difference, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are those are pretty big. That's so ravens. <laughs>